Hello, Dylan here, and welcome to a top 10 video this time. And instead of talking about an entire anime, I'll be talking about the moments in an anime. Specifically, the most shocking moments that I've watched in anime. Unlike other list videos, I won't be including, like, summaries. And there will be spoilers for the anime that are mentioned. So, let's begin. Number 10. Wandering Witch, The Journey of Elena. The end of episode 9, A Deep Sorrow from the Past. There were some dark themes presented in earlier episodes of Elena, but this episode was five ba five ba by far the darkest. Elena helps a witch, Estelle, go back to the past to protect her friend from becoming a serial killer. And the present Estelle ends up executing that sad friend, only to find out that she was a crazy murderer before the so-called trigger moment that Estelle thought, thought of. Also, Estelle kills herself when she learns that the friend never actually thought of her as a friend. And at the end of the episode, Elena breaks down, which we've never really seen from her before. And it's on this list because it's still fresh in my mind. On to number nine. Number nine is from Attack on Titan, episode five. Now, you can't have a list of shocking moments in anime and not include the famous protagonist gets eaten scene. Sure, it may not be the most surprising thing now, but at the time, with like first watchers of Attack on Titan, it shocked everyone. Unless you read the manga before the anime. There isn't much more to say about this really, because pe people already know of it. But, but I had to put it on the list because of the shock it gave at that time. On to number eight. Number eight is, is from Tenjin Tapa Gurren Lagann. And it is Nia's Betrayal. Now, I know you're going to think that I should have put, like, Kamen, Kamen's death on the list instead. But I found Nia's quote-unquote betrayal more shocking. It's more like brainwashing, but at the same time, it, but, at the, but at the time, it seemed more like betrayal when I first watched it. On to number seven. Number seven is, Mirai, is from Mirai Nikki, or The Future Diary. It is the truth of Yuno Gasai. I'm pretty sure no one expected not only her dead parents but a corpse of another Yuno that this Yuno was trying to hide. I know that sounds confusing. Even researching this gave me a headache to try to put, put it all together with for this. But the shocking moment I'm talking about is the fact that Yuno killed another version of her. And that this is sort of like the original Yuno from the first world. And what we are watching in the anime is the third world. So she killed... So yeah, I gotta rewatch it to try and make more sense of it again, but yeah, that that was really crazy. <laughs> On to number six. Number six is from Elfin Lead Lied, however you want to say it. I say Elfin Lead because it, it looks, because I feel like it could be German. It is the dog beating scene. Now, if you don't like animal cruelty, then you might want to just skip this part. There is plenty of like fucked up things in this anime, but witnessing this ki these kids beating Lucy's dog to death, which prompted that classic anime is for kids screenshot that that is always used, was probably one of the most messed up things from that anime. At least it prepared me for JoJo, since so many dogs die in that damn anime. On to number five. Number five is from Fate's Day Night, Heaven's Field 2, Lost Butterfly, the second Heaven's Field movie. And the surprising moment was the ending of the movie. While I was watching the Fate Stay Night movies, I knew something happens to Sakura. However, I was not prepared for how dark of a turn it was. The I knew it was gonna I knew this was like the darkest route for Fate Stay Night, but I didn't know how dark it would get. The immediate shift that happened with the scene between Sakura and Shinji at the end of end kind of made me lose it. AKA, I'm talking about Sakura becoming corrupted while her brother, or stepbrother, I guess, was trying to do something to her. She quickly killed him like that. It was, so, it was so freaking sudden. It happened so fast that I was in complete shock. Not that Shinji, Shinji is dead, but Sakura's transformation. Everyone, no one likes Shinji. On to number four. Number four is Pula Mag is from Pula Magi Madoka Magica. My god, it gets harder and harder to say that name. I don't know why. And it is the moment from episode 3, Mommy, Mommy's Mammy's Decapitation. Now, I know something happened in it when I first started it. Otherwise, why would this anime be recommended all the time? It already had an unnerving atmosphere with what the witches looked like, but the moment 
Mammy, mommy, however you want to say it, got decapitated in episode three. I kind of, I somewhat lost it a bit. If you were able to go in thinking it was just a normal magical girl anime, then you would have freaked out so much more than I did. Shaft, the anime studio, knew exactly what they were doing with that scene. On to number three. Number three is Higurashi When They Cry, the original anime. And the moment is basically too many moments to count. And I'll make a, and I'll make a list instead of this list because there are too many to pick just one. Also very obvious spoilers ahead. Common loving Rena, yelling liar in menacing tone. Not a death, a gore scene, but it comes out of nowhere to shock you. Keichi kills Mion and Rena with Satoshi, Satoshi's bat. Keichi beats Tepe to death with Satoshi's bat. He seems to really like that bat. The truck runs over Rika's head after hitting her on the road. So, hits her, and then goes ends up running over her head after. Rika bangs her head on a knife to kill herself. Satoko being crucified. Shion, who is presumed dead at the time, comes back to kill Keichi. And so much more. On to number two. Number two is... Pula Magi Madaka Magica, the movie, part three, Rebellion. And it's at the end of the movie. Okay, I know I'm, and I know, I'm bringing back Madaka up again on this list, but the end of the movie probably shocked me to no end. First off, this takes place after the anime series. The first two movies are basically, or the first two movies are recaps. And it, it makes you believe that Homer is going to go back to Mat uh, Madaka into the heavens. But no. Homura betrays everyone by refusing Madoka at the last second, takes some of her power, and rewrites the universe into one she likes better. She literally becomes the antagonist at the end of the goddamn movie. On to my number one. Number one is from Tower of God, and it is Rachel's betrayal at the end. I legit lost all of my shit when this, when this happened. She went from a great character to the most hated character in literally five fucking seconds. The reason this is at the top is because no one, unless you read the manga, thought this was going to happen. And pretty much everyone had similar reactions. Another big reason is that she herself taught him, Bomb, to never betray anyone, yet she does the exact same thing to him in the end. Talk about being a goddamn hypocrite. That was an eventful list of shocking moments in anime. Any that you think should be on here, comment them down below. Do you agree with my list? Tell me. Hit subscribe and the bell to be notified of future videos, and I hope to re hope you'll return for more. Bye-bye.